Hi, I'm Ken Spector from LivingEcho.com, and I'm here today with Richard Steinberg from Mini USA. Hey, Richard. Ken, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. So, uh, what are we looking at here? This, the this Mini. This is the Mini E here at the Alt Car Expo in Santa Monica. Uh, the Mini E is a limited edition product that uh, is available only in Southern California. We have 250 cars on the roads today. We have, actually have 200 more back in New York and New Jersey as well, being tested in the market today. Okay, now have these been introduced in Europe already? Actually, there's another hundred. It's funny you should ask that. There's another hundred of these cars in Berlin, Munich, and uh, London and Oxford. So uh, the, the, we started the program here in the U.S. and there was a lot of interest worldwide. So they put it back into production and they have a, an extra hundred of them on the roads in Europe. Okay, I've been asking uh, several people this uh, question. What is, would you say, has a lower carbon f footprint? An electric car, a hydrogen car, a biodiesel car? Uh, well, since this is an electric car, I'll probably answer the question. This is the lowest carbon footprint. I think what's good about this alternative car discussion is that all of these new technologies are good for the environment. We don't, we don't necessarily need to pick a winner at this point. We need to find a way to make either the batteries or the hydrogen more affordable, so more acceptable to the mass consumption. So right now, the, it's, it's still, a, still a horse race. Which one's the best one? It's not yet to be determined, but we need to make it to the point where it's affordable, Car companies can make money, customers can afford them, and they're practical in a day-to-day -day use. Uh, is this a traditional Mini uh, made of materials that the old Minis were made of, or is this built from ground up? Yeah, this this is a, it started off as a regular Mini at, on, off the plant in Oxford in England, what we call a body in white, which is basically the car without the powertrain. And then we found a company here based in San Dimas, California, AC Propulsion, who has a booth just up the way, and they had this technology with the power unit as well as the battery. So we were actually able to get their powertrain, their batteries, and then we did final assembly in our plant in Munich. So it's sort of an international vehicle. How does this electric Mini compare with the traditional gasoline-powered Minis? Well, this the nice part about the Mini E is it still drives like a Mini. It's got the wheels at four corners. It still has great performance and handling. And it's what's really special about electric cars in general, and Mini in particular, is that you have peak torque right at zero RPM. So you really feel the thrust right off the line. You're not sacrificing any of the traditional Mini driving characteristics and performance. Yes, it's a bit heavier. So it adds about five or 600 pounds over a regular Mini, but you don't feel it when it comes to accelerating or merging into traffic. It actually feels quicker than a standard Mini. And how well does this accelerate? What's the zero to 60, 60 rating? Eight and a half seconds, but it feels a lot quicker. And it's got a uh, 95 miles per hour top speed, which is electronically limited. Okay. So it's a regular car, it's not a golf cart. Right. Now, as far as charging, uh, one can plug this into a traditional outlet. How long does it take to charge fully? Uh, we, we provide with the, the lease, when you lease one of these vehicles, what we call a wall box, which is a charging station, and that allows you to do fast charging. We have a 40 amp version, which allows you to charge about three to five hours. We also have a commercial version, which our dealers have, which allow you to charge about two to three hours. But if you find yourselves traveling, visiting friends, your grandmother, whatever, and you need to plug in using just a standard outlet, you can do that as well. That will take you over 24 hours, however, to get from zero to full charge. And how many miles does this go on a full charge? Uh, I just met some Mini E drivers outside that sort of experienced with the hypermiling. He's doing 130 miles. Most of our drivers are getting right around 100 miles, but some are lower at 80. It all depends on the driving conditions and your driving style. So are you just leasing these or are you We're selling these? these so lease. And how much is the lease and what does it include? It's 850 a month. It includes your collision coverage and it also includes all your maintenance. And it includes that wall box or the charging station at your house. Okay, terrific. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.